today we'll be talking a little bit about Nike stock. Uh, Nike stock recently has actually been doing very, very well. Uh, it's a stock I own, a stock I like quite a bit. Uh, their financials, in my opinion, are super great. Uh, they do have a little bit high of a PE ratio, if I do remember correctly. Um, yeah, their PE ratio is around a 68 right now, which like isn't super high, but um, I usually don't invest in companies that are over that PE ratio, but I have invested in um, Nike for a handful of reasons. But anyways, uh, the main reason I'm making this video is because someone recently, uh, I was actually, I think yesterday or maybe the day before, Nike came out with this new ad campaign that um, sort of uh, promote, I don't wanna say promoted, but uh, you can take a look for it at, uh, yourself. Uh, it basically had a Colin Kaepernick's face on it. It had this nice little quote about um, sacrificing things and uh, being, you know, sacrificing everything to get something or something like that. And uh, a lot of people were really happy with it, but um, there's a small amount of people that uh, were not so happy with it. And they're even going on to say like things like boycott Nike and just like weird things like that. And they were just very, very angry about it. And I'm gonna comment on that a little bit, but more about um, Nike's financials, because I know because of this, like everyone's gonna be going crazy over Nike. Like they're going to be like, oh, Nike's going down. It's uh, you know worst company ever. But in reality, it actually has really nice financials. And um, a huge, huge company like Nike, you know, I, I don't know what their market cap is. I think it's like 100, yeah, $127 billion company. Um, they're definitely taking some very careful risk assessment before going on with a uh, campaign like this that they knew would uh, draw up some controversy. But I guess like they say, you know, um, no such thing as bad news. All news is good news. But um, anyways, uh, getting into Nike as a stock and also commenting on the whole Kaepernick thing. Um, overall, I mean, Nike is a pretty solid stock in my opinion. I think it has, one, a lot of room to increase its dividend yield. I think it's going to be a dividend aristocrat in the near future. I'm not actually sure off the top of my head how long they've been giving out their dividend, but um, somewhat high of a P ratio, but I think that's okay. They're investing a lot of money back into the company. Um, profitable company that's been profitable, you know, obviously they have a good P ratio or a decent P ratio, but um, a company has been profitable. Uh, unlike other specialty realtors, like you see with Under Armour struggling really hard and a lot of the more specific stores out there as well, Nike has been one of the few ones to come out of the whole Amazon, you know, retail apocalypse pretty much untouched and they actually performed pretty well and uh, have done a great job uh, really responding to that overall. I think their upper management is great and they've done an amazing job with that. Um, some of the biggest reasons, I think they have a very nice online sales platform. They do very well in that regard. Uh, well, a lot of the other companies were quite lacking in that. Um, I, I mean, this isn't even investing. This is just general, pretty much, you know, you should know this uh, if you're, you know, know anything about business. Nike is like top dog in terms of branding. I mean, they're probably one of the best well-known brands on the world. And at least in the US, I can speak for, but um, definitely in the US. And they have done such an amazing job at branding all across the board. Uh, there's some companies that have also done pretty well with that. I think Adidas is doing a pretty decent job with that as well. Um, a company that I wasn't able to invest in because I used the Robin app, but now can, and definitely one I might consider, but back to Nike. Nike's done an amazing job with branding. Upper management, super solid. Their financials are pretty solid. I mean, some might say that they're slightly overvalued right now, but they are putting a lot of their money back into the company, reinvesting it still. And I think they're doing an amazing job with that. Really overall across the board, Nike, pretty solid pick in my opinion. And if we look how they've done over the past few years or so, they've really done nothing but go up past five year, one year, year to date. They're down around uh, right now. It's, um, what time is it right now? It's about 2.30. When I'm recording this video, they are down around two, three percent today, but I'm sure by the end of the day, it'll probably be a little higher. But just to note, um, there's going to be a lot of news sources that say that's because of this whole thing. Very, very likely not because of that. The entire stock market's down today. The Dow Jones is down today. Um, Nike has been leading some of that down. It is one of the highest ones down, but um, two percent in one day isn't very uncommon. This is very likely, in my opinion, anyways, not a direct cause of that because I really don't think, um, actually, I, I'm not 100% sure about this but um i could pretty you know pretty uh uh obviously say that i don't think a lot of people are actually selling off of nike because of this because their financials are still super solid and you're probably not a very good investor if you're selling off of a stock or not getting into a stock because of something because of a, it's just simply just an ad campaign that's actually probably going to be pretty effective in my opinion um so commenting on this whole um i don't know colin kaepernick nike ordeal um, a couple of things with it. 
um, one in the past, this is like their Just Do It campaign that he was on, that he was like the basically the uh, image for it. And uh, in the past, Nike has used other, I shouldn't say controversial figures, but figures that I could see a lot of people getting angry over. So it's not necessarily a surprise that they use someone like this. Um, and I don't think it's a bad thing because if you look in the past, um, Nike has done stuff like this before and, you know, it's worked out pretty well for them. It usually gives them pretty positive light. And I personally think that it's probably a good branding technique because even though they're getting a very small amount of people who are backfiring to this, you know, the whole boycott Nike thing like that, in the past, when you look at other companies that have tried to do this, um, especially when they're in um, regards to something that isn't like positive, like most of the people protesting this are, you know, usually taking it, it seems to be taking it in like a racist manner or in a, you know, they're doing it for an anti-police matter when, you know, they just simply put a guy's cover on the, you know, um, cover other magazine or whatever or their campaign so it's not as if they're like directly like insulting someone or insulting um, troops or something like that i don't think nike's doing anything particularly bad or like evil when doing this so um in the past when there's been those like boycott things especially when they're kind of more towards like bigotry things like that when you look at um target and uh it's happened with walmart especially target this was reminding me like exactly of target um a couple years back i don't know if you guys remember it or saw it in the news or whatever Target had, it wasn't an ad campaign, but um, they basically said their bathrooms were going to be gender neutral. So, um, you know, normally men's women's room, um, they didn't really care who was going in it. They were like just saying, you can go in whichever bathroom you feel more comfortable with. And for whatever reason, a lot of people, and even still today, when I make YouTube videos and talk about Target, some people still say they don't go into Target. Also reminded me of Starbucks a bit, but um, some people still say like they won't go into Target or Starbucks because like their bathroom issues or something like that, which is like super weird. I've never once in my entire life cared about where I went to the bathroom or heard of anyone that really cared about where they went to the bathroom as long as it wasn't like in the middle of the street or something like that. But um, when Target, I mean, people were going crazy. They're like, oh yeah, the stock's gonna go down like crazy because of this, the stock's gonna drop. And Target actually did go down a little bit, not having anything to do with that, just having to do with the whole retail apocalypse like I was just talking about and them not pushing online. But since then, Target's actually been doing pretty good and they have been performing pretty well overall. And um, comparing it to another one that somewhat recent was um, Starbucks, a lot of people that were probably on more like the right end, like more like Alex Jones type people were like talking about um, boycotting Starbucks, like talking about going in there using their bathrooms, like all this weird stuff. And people were like going crazy, like saying, oh, the share prices are going to drop like crazy. And they did drop a little bit, but that's probably because their CEO and CFO had recently left and stepped down, not because of anything bad, just simply because, you know, their time was done there. So. Uh, yeah, that does make sense for a stock to go down, especially when you have such a legendary CEO like um, like Schultz was. But, um, you know, the stock has recovered since then. They're coming up. Still one I own. I think they're going to do pretty decent. And a very similar, I guess you could say, story, even though it's a little bit different, but um, very similar. I think the news is going to blow this heavily, heavily out of proportion. Um, I personally am making this video to kind of like downplay it to make my comment and opinion on it And also because a lot of people if you've been watching my channel for a while, you know, I really like Nike a lot um, I literally wear them in like all my videos. It's not like on purpose because I own the stock I just like have a very simple like wardrobe and Nike t-shirts are like super comfortable. They last super long and they are a little bit more expensive than the other ones, but I do like them a lot. I mean, this t-shirt I have probably had for like four years now. I'm not even kidding. Like, I've actually owned this t-shirt for four years. And if I owned like a $5 t-shirt for four years, it'd probably be ripped in half by now. But, um, so I don't actually do that on purpose. I even got like a Nike hat over here too. I was going to wear it during the video, but then it looked a little weird with the lighting and stuff. So I decided against it, but was thinking about just repping all Nike for this video, but decided not to. But anyways, that's really it for this video. Uh, let me know what you guys think about this whole Nike, um, Colin Kaepernick ordeal. Um, you know, and also let me know, you know, what you think about Nike stock overall taking not not really taking that into account i guess you can if you want but um let me know about what you think about nike stock do you own it maybe do you like the stock do you not like the stock let me know what you think about that as well but other than that guys thanks for watching the video i hope you enjoyed